These are images of war. The American media constantly bombards us with them. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is no exception. You've seen the images of chaos and violence, but have you seen an Israeli civilian on the beach or a vibrant shook? How about an Israeli teenager? In the summer of 2009, we traveled to Israel and explored the similarities and differences between American and Israeli teenagers. But first we wanted to find out what people in San Francisco knew about Israeli teens. I don't think there's a lot of coverage of the young people in Israel as far as I see. There's a lot of talk about, you know, the the whole problems there with uh, Israel and the Palestinians, but I, I honestly don't see a lot of cultural coverage of Israel. And what do you think is the leading cause of death of Israeli teenagers? Um, maybe uh, like bullet fire, but like random bullet fire or whatever, unintended targets. Yeah, you would, I, I mean, I think you would think it was like war, like, you know, war related. Contrary to popular belief, the leading cause of death among Israeli teens is the same as American teens, traffic accidents. That's not to say that Israeli teens don't have to face the reality of violence. 80% of 18-year-olds in the country serve in the army, and a number of teenagers have been directly affected by war. Ido is one example. We were at synagogue, and we sat there and studied Torah. I returned home and I found that a Katusha had landed next to my house. I discovered that the Katusha hadn't landed on our house, but next to it. And my room, which is on the outside of the house, had been damaged. Windows had been broken, cabinets had fallen down, and some of the walls had been damaged. Everyone usually thinks that Israel is a very worn, torn uh, area and that war and uh, terrorism is um, prevalent, you know, in everyday lives. And uh, I think the basic assumption is that uh, Israeli teens are somehow caught up into this thing. They maybe have a lot of uh, fear or a lot of uh, worry about, about terrorism in that situation. We have a lot of activities in Israel, like, uh, <laughs> like what? Uh, we can the go beach, to clubs, parties. <laughs> <laughs> the beach, uh, parties. We have a lot of when asked what he thought the similarities and differences between American and Israeli teens are, grandfather of an Israeli teen commented. Similarities, uh, I think they're all very, um, there's a strong sense of uh, materialism um, and, you know, wanting stuff. Uh, very plugged into, um, you know, modern technology, modern, uh, modern, you know, uh, current music, and so I think the, a lot of the, the tastes are the same. The instruments may vary, but Israeli and American teens enjoy many of the same activities. Israeli and American teens have a lot of similarities, but one major difference is the required military service for the majority of Israeli teens. The anticipation of joining the army is widespread in the teenage population. I'm nervous to go to the army because I, I am afraid to kill. I think it has to do with the culture is, is one sort of uh, permissive from a dis discipline point of view. Uh, they, everyone figures the army will, will uh, straighten everybody out. Uh, and so the parents, I think, get a, get a buy on that and uh, uh, don't insist on strong discipline. Israel is a great place for uh, teenagers uh, to live. I think that um, they get a, a lot of uh, freedom, most uh, from their parents, also from society. It's a very kind of child-friendly, kid-friendly place to be. They, got, they do get a lot of respect. And, you know, the fact that a couple of years later they become soldiers in the regular uh, uh, military kind of gives them that kind of spirit to goof off as much as possible because they need to turn into adults pretty fast afterwards. We will finish our senior year in high school and transition to college while Israeli teenagers enter the army. They will leave home, become less dependent on their parents, and operate in a professional setting. At 17, 
We saw how similar we are to Israeli teens. However, two years from now, the similarities will grow fewer. We will be students in the classroom, while the teens of Israel will be protecting their country against the potential of danger and violence.